As a practitioner just like you, I thought I had heard everything I needed to know about fatty liver. It occurs mostly in people who are overweight, maybe they have some kind of glucose dysregulation, insulin resistance, metabolic syndrome, type 2 diabetes. When you look on a lab panel, if ALT is high, then that points to fatty liver. And in terms of what to do about it, a little bit of dietary changes, some exercise, and a supplement uh, protocol that maybe from your favorite supplement company who's happy to tell you what to take when they have fatty liver, and then you're done. But it turns out that could not be further from the truth. Number one, fatty liver occurs in far more people than we realize, and that's because there are over a dozen different causes of fatty liver that have nothing to do with somebody's body size or whether or not they have any kind of metabolic or glucose dysregulation. Two, fatty liver is almost impossible to diagnose unless you look for the right things. We're missing it as practitioners all the time if all we do is look at the quote-unquote liver enzymes. Thirdly, there are truly evidence-based things that you can do in order to help unwind fatty liver in people, and that's why we created this workshop. You will learn, number one, what actually contributes to fatty liver and the theory surrounding it in the first place. Number two, it's had a name change. We talk about that. Number three, we look over, over a dozen causes of fatty liver that have nothing to do with glucose dysregulation, things like sex hormone balance, thyroid, gut dysfunction, and so much more. We also look at the best and most accurate evidence-based ways of identifying fatty liver in your patients and clients beyond what almost any practitioners are doing. This part is worth gold. And then finally, if you do find fatty liver in somebody, we give you a truly evidence-based, scientific literature-based uh, protocol for diet, lifestyle interventions, as well as a supplement protocol that comes straight out of the scientific literature so that you can best help your patients and clients today. That's everything we cover in this course. Thank you so much, and I can't wait to see you on the inside.